Okay, why are we out here? Well, I'm used to treat clay. If we look at the soil down here, what's in the soil? We have a chunk of soil from the job site. We have clay, it's been smashed smooth. We also have rocks. It's black due to the organic content of the soil. We add lime in order to break down the clay. The clay particles, about two microns in size, smaller than your hair, absorb sodium. Sodium brings water. The problem is it allows expansion to track them. Calcium goes in and knocks the sodium off the surface of the clay, thus keeping it from being able to expand. You go from a deck of cards to a house of cards. So whenever we look at the soil, they start to open up the soil by ripping it. They spread lime in there. That gets it sort of mixed, and then they come back with a mixer. As they're mixing, the lime's going across all the particles and surfaces. It's in the water. It's dissolving. It's transferring on the surface and kicking sodium out. So whenever we look at it in just a moment, you'll see the textural change brought about by adding calcium. We started with clods of clay. We've mixed in lime twice. Now we have a friable mixture. After mixing, the friable material is easily compacted. As you can see, it gains pretty good strength compared to clay. Over time, the calcium will break down the clay and produce cements to make it where it won't ever be able to expand again. You only need to allow 24 to 48 hours of curing before you continue construction activities, whether that be putting down rebar for concrete or laying asphalt pavement.